All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft. It's been a super long time since we last did a command block creation thing in Jerry's laboratory and we're not technically in Jerry's laboratory this time because we're dealing with TNT, but still, you get the idea. So this one is a TNT cannon and flamethrower command. I mean, you've seen TNT cannons before, the normal ones where you light some TNT and use it to shoot another piece off far away, but this one is actually like a legitimate cannon. It's super cool. Anyway, let's get into things. First things first, you have to summon uh, a villager. Well, not summon a villager, but, but throw an emerald at a villager that you've found, and then it'll turn into, I don't know how to pronounce this word, blacketeer? Black Eater? It sounds like a Death Eater from Harry Potter or something. <laughs> it's probably some, uh, like Blacksmith in another language, I, I have to assume. Anyway, so the the Blacketeer, we'll, we'll call him, uh, has a bunch of different trades that we're able to do. So why don't we get the items? This is Small Bertha, which is the TNT cannon. Then we've also got uh, Marks, which are used for, for actually targeting uh, the, the TNT from Small Bertha. Then we've also got, uh, let's see, the Flamethrower, which is the other weapon here. And finally, we've got the Rotate tool for the Flamethrower, which just allows us to uh, rotate it into the direction that we want it to aim. So those are all of our items, and uh, now we're actually finished with you, Mr. Blacketeer, and uh, there's, no, there's no pretty way to get rid of you. So I, I apologize for what's about to happen, but um, there we go. You, you did good. You served your purpose, and I appreciate that. All right, so why don't we go ahead and put down Small Bertha. Let's find a, a nice area for it, destroy some of the grass, and uh, let's do this right here. Sort of like self-assembles. This is pretty pretty cool. So this is our TNT cannon, and first we'll need some TNT, obviously, to load up the TNT cannon, and uh, then we'll also need some gunpowder in order to set it off. So, it can hold up to eight TNT at a time, and you'll notice as I throw the TNT at it, it'll actually start filling those redstone blocks with TNT, which is kind of cool. So let's fill it up to eight. There we go, and now it starts like doing sparkly particle effects and stuff, meaning it's ready to go, but we're not quite ready yet. We need to actually mark where we want it to, uh, to shoot at. So, I don't know, let's put down a mark like right here, for example. You can put down multiple. For now, we'll just have everything target the same place. So X marks the spot, and now all we have to do is throw some gunpowder down and uh, watch the fireworks. It's so cool. This is so cool, though. Look at this. Look at this. And then, and then, here it comes. Here it comes. Back off, and boom. And boom. And it'll, it'll keep hitting that same mark with all eight TNT because, again, it's the only mark that we'd put down. And I wonder if it'll actually end up like hitting into Jerry's laboratory because Jerry's laboratory is like right under here. Uh, no, it's safe, safe for now. Okay, so now that that's actually that mark has been used and TNT has been fired at it, it should fade away in a couple seconds. But as I mentioned, we're actually able to uh, to put down a few at a time. So instead of one, let's put down I don't know several while trying to not be too close to the cannon itself. And now, I don't actually fully know the way in which it prioritizes and selects targets. It might just be completely random, which it chooses first and sequential, but anyway, um, let's give it a demo. So a little bit of TNT, load this thing up again, all the way down to, I think, there we go. And we're completely loaded, fantastic. So we got our marks down, on your marks, get set, explode. Come on, there we go. Okay, so it'll hit all of the different ones. Let's see what order it goes in. It's gonna hit the last one, and then it's gonna hit the second one, and the second one, and again, no idea how it chooses things in, in what order. It might just be completely random, but it, it will hit all of your uh, all your marks, which is pretty darn cool. It's like a targeted airstrike. So awesome. So that is, uh, that's Small Bertha. Not so small. I think it's it's named in irony. You know how, like, you have bouncers that are named Tiny, that sort of thing? I, I have a feeling it's the same sort of same sort of approach here. Okay, so anyway, next up we've got our, uh, our flamethrower. So let's get rid of some of the items in our inventory to clear up some space. And now we'll put this down using the flamethrower egg. And this is our, it's our flamethrower. It's actually a really cool looking block, disp uh, a dispenser inside of a, a piece of glass. So at the moment it's not active, 
We can walk all around it and not have any issues. We can change its orientation by using this rotate item. So say we want it facing that way. There we go. And then in order to activate it, we want to right click on it with a block of coal. And now, if you walk in its line of fire, the thing goes crazy. <laughs> wait, wait. Sorry, buddy. It's actually, it pushes, it pushes him out of the, the, the way probably quickly enough so he's not gonna die. Um, but still, oh, that might have been enough. That might have been enough. Is he gonna, is he gonna get it from the fire damage? I think he might be in trouble. But I don't have damage indicators to see. Oh, sorry, man. It's for science, though. It's for science, you know? Okay, so, I mean, we could go and just put down several of these if we wanted to. Like there, and there, and there, and then I believe they all face in the same direction no matter what. So you just have to reorient them. You want them to uh, face the opposite way, and now we can go ahead and activate all of them, and just create a little uh, path of, of doom. So, sorry, villager. He's not gonna last very long. <laughs> so good for like a the adventure map trap or something like that. I mean, if you really want to just kill your player, I suppose. So um, yeah, that is the uh, that's the flamethrower right there. And if you ever want to deactivate it, you can simply put down a, a water bucket on top of all of the uh, blocks. It'll instantly get rid of the source block, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up, and it'll deactivate the flamethrower. So now that we can stand in front of them again uh, without dying. So that's that. Um, well, that is the uh, TNT cannon plus flamethrower command in a nutshell. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, man, it's been too long since we last did one of these. If you're interested in any more command videos, there's a playlist in the description. You can check out all of the ones that I've done in the past. If you've enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a rating. Maybe we can go for 10 likes on the video or something like that, and uh, check out the command in the description, and I'll see you next time.